warns the judiciary not to make a mockery of Guyana's democracy. AFC claims coalition is stronger despite Patterson said there are more moles in the government. Student nurse douses woman with hot water over boyfriend row. And in sport, Shane Schillingford suspended for illegal bowling action. These and more right now in this or Saturday, January 5, 2019 edition of News Update. Good evening, I'm Lashona Gomes Cornelius. Thanks for joining us. The decision by the government on Monday to pass several pieces of legislation during the sitting of the National Assembly, even after it was toppled via a successful no-confidence vote, is unconstitutional. This is the view of People's Progressive Party frontbencher Anil Nandlal, who made it clear that only certain bills can be passed in the House under current circumstances. More in this report. Nandalal is reported as saying that after government falls to no confidence vote, the circumstances in question, it cannot be business as usual. He said naturally, government is expected to provide the basic services of the state to citizens, which are public security, public health, public utilities, payment of salaries of public servants, among others. Besides these basic services, Nandalal made it clear that the government also has to give the highest priority to preparing the electoral machinery in the form of the Ghana election. Commission for elections within three months. As such, he said any bills which are necessary to accomplish those objectives ought to be passed. However, the government will have no authority to bring in new legislation that are unrelated to the elections. Also, he warned that government cannot embark on new capital projects and cannot begin implementing new policies, more so those that cannot be completed in time for the elections. On Thursday, the Intoxicating Liquor Amendment Bill No. 20 of 2018, the Capital Gains Amendment Bill, the Value Added Tax Amendment Bill, and the Natural Resources Fund of 2018 Bill were all passed in the National Assembly in the absence of the opposition. But on December 21, 2018, the No Confidence Motion brought by the Parliamentary Opposition against the government succeeded when Charandas Prasad, a former AFC Member of Parliament, broke rank and made a conscious vote in favour of the motion. With the government's defeat, the Constitution of Guyana is clear about the next steps. Article 1066 of the Constitution states, and I quote, The cabinet, including the president, shall resign if the government is defeated by the vote of a majority of all the elected members of the National Assembly on a vote of confidence. Meanwhile, Clause 7 of Article 106 goes on to state that, and I quote, Notwithstanding its defeat, the government shall remain in office and shall hold an election within three months or such longer period as the National Assembly shall, by resolution, supported by not less than two-thirds majority of the votes of all the elected members of the National Assembly, determine and shall resign after the President takes the oath of office following the elections. Edward Lane for MTV's News Update. The opposition party, PPP, has urged the judiciary not to be complicit in any conspiracy to undermine the Constitution in face of a move by the government to file legal proceedings seeking to invalidate the successful confidence motion. Details in this report. The People's Progressive Party is not pleased that the government has taken legal action seeking to make the past the confidence motion void. The government is contending in their case that Charandas Prasad was illegally in the National Assembly due to him being a citizen of another country. However, the PPP was keen to point out that it was the same Prasad that the government appointed as an MP and voted for the government for the past three years. The PPP is bashing the government for taking the matter to court and warned the judiciary not to be complicit in making a mockery of Guyana's democracy. The party believes that the court action is a desperate attempt to seize power. However, the party have vowed to join the proceedings. Due to the passage of the motion, which Speaker Dr. Barton Scotland refused to overturn, snap elections are due within 90 days. Reporting for MTV News Update, Godfrey Brooms. A woman is now in police custody after she doused another with hot water. 
Prior to the burning, the two Londoners were involved in an argument over a young man. According to information, the duo arrived at a man's house in Linden and after an argument subsequently ensued. This led to one of the women retrieving a pot of boiling water and drenched the other. She was later arrested and is assisting the police with the investigation. You're watching MTV's News Update. More news after the break. Stay with us. You can be a millionaire by only spending $100 on a Daily Million ticket. Simply pick any five numbers from 1 to 26, or you can buy a quick pick for your chance to win the Daily Millions. Purchase your tickets daily, Monday through Saturday, to get a chance to win $1 million every day. So, feeling lucky? Then buy a Daily Millions ticket today. Remember, a ticket a day could make you rich today. Make an impression with the finest styles imported by Lens. Lens has a huge selection of various styles for your wall, floor, and pool needs. All of our towels are of grade A quality, which are the highest quality tile rated. That means they last longer and are less likely to damage or crack. We're the sole distributor for many reputable companies around the world. At Lens, we have special deals for contractors and bulk shoppers. Shop at any of our three locations to get the best in towels. Lens, our product, your creation. Welcome back. You're watching MTV's News Update. The Alliance for Change has affirmed that their relationship with the Partnership for National Unity has become stronger following the actions taken by Charandas Prasad. He claimed Prasad's decision has had nothing but positive effects on the coalition. More in this report. The AFC as well as the APNU has long been claiming that there is no power struggle within the coalition. Despite their claim, it is evident that not all of the coalition members are pleased with the actions of the government, with Charandas Prasad being the boldest. The Working People's Alliance has time and again shared a displeasure with some policies of the government. At the November 12 local government elections, the AFC decided to wing it alone to determine the strength of the party. The AFC, recently in a circulated email from Rafael Trotman, outlined a number of issues with the position the APNU has taken. But again, Guyanese are being told that the coalition remains ever strong. AFC's Minister of Public Infrastructure, David Patterson, claimed that the position and reasoning given by Prasad has brought the coalition closer and there will be frequent discussions. It, it actually confirmed or resolved that, 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 that if you don't um, speak as often um, on these sensitive matters and um, that uh, you, we can be very, very yeah. So it, 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 we, we had, we, we had firm, full and frank discussions, you know what I mean? The, the information and intelligence was shared um, between us long time. We, we made as a coalition a collective decision how to operate and that's where we are. While the coalition proclaims that their partnership is strong, the Cummingsburg Accord, which binds the APNU and AFC together, is to be reviewed soon. Quartfree Brooms, MTV, News Update. In an effort to effectively address its transportation woes being encountered by several students from far-flung communities within Region 10, the RDC purchased a $14.4 million 30-seater coaster bus from Bihari Automotive, which, according to Regional Executive Officer Orin Gordon, was expected to have been in operation from September 2018. Four months later, they are yet to collect the bus. Gordon, in addressing the RDC meeting on Thursday, vented his disappointment. As the region awaits the bus, Regional Education Officer Rabindra Singh has offered the department's pitbull bus to help transport the children. The issue of overflowing wastewater coupled with clogged drains within and around the Starbrook Square is a matter of grave concern, which the Public Health Department of the Mayor and City Council will be addressing with much urgency. 
This is according to the Director of Solid Waste Management Unit, Walton Narine. There have been a number of complaints regarding the unkempt Starbrook Square. The sight of drains filled with plastic bottles, bags and food boxes, coupled with running waste water from a nearby public toilet facility on the road's surface, intrudes on the movement of passerby and shoppers near the Starbrook Market. According to the director of the city's Solid Waste Management Unit, Walter Narine, the matter is one which demands immediate attention by the Public Health Department. Narine indicated that the Public Health Department will investigate the matter earliest. Then the contractor being seven will have to address it or we'll give him some more time to address that situation or we'll have to take some action mm -hmm. because you can't allow anybody to be enjoying that situation if it is. So we'll have an investigation done by the Public Health Department and if it is, then we'll have to deal with it. Narine urges persons selling perishable goods nearby the location to desist from placing their items close to the dirty water. Since returning to work for the mayor and the city council under specific conditions, C. Vons and Puran Brothers Incorporated are still awaiting written proposals from the municipality regarding the appointments and work designation. According to the director of the city's Solid Waste Management Unit, Walton Arine, the mayor and the city council met with the two entities on New Year's Eve to discuss work details and payment. Um, we were to meet with them back yesterday, Friday, to let them know, because we promised them that we'll pay them, pay the guys for the work that they're doing from January 1st, promptly. Good? Mm -hmm. so, um, so they, they wanted to know, uh, some sort of commitment or some sort of clarification of what we mean by promptly. And the city treasurer would have given the undertaking that at that meeting, that by Friday, he would have had um, all the information as to what he means by promptly as or, or in what position we will be in to pay them, if we're going to pay them every month or we will pay them every week. Narine indicated, though he has not spoken to the acting town clerk, Sharon Harry Monroe, on the matter, he is certain that a written proposal is already prepared. He noted that the two entities have been working quite satisfactory in constituencies 5 and 6 and 7 and 9, respectively. 7 and group 9, group 4 and, and all boys the market, and for 7 and group 5 and group 6 and world market. Tiffany Jordan now joins us with today's tips for healthy living. A sore throat is often the first sign of a cold and may get better after a day or two. Other cold symptoms, such as a runny nose and congestion, may follow the sore throat. The primary symptom of tonsillitis is a moderate to severe sore throat lasting longer than two days and involves inflammation of the tonsils. Other symptoms of tonsillitis may include difficult or painful swallowing, swollen or tender glands, lymph nodes on the sides of the neck, bad breath, fever and chills, tiredness and headache, stomach upset or pain, enlarged or reddened tonsils with spots of white or yellow pus, mouth breathing, noisy breathing, and or snoring due to enlarged tonsils blocking the airways. Symptoms of tonsillitis may resolve after three to four days but may last up to two weeks even with treatment. Avoiding close contact with people who have tonsillitis is advisable to prevent passing of the infection. Children and other family members should keep far away from people with tonsillitis as much as possible. Hygiene measures should also be used to prevent the spread of an infection, which may include regular and thorough washing and drying of hands, using a tissue to cover coughs and sneezes, frequent and thorough washing and drying of hands, not sharing foods, liquids, or eating utensils or drinking vessels, frequent cleaning of services, particularly in the kitchen and bathroom. Treatment of viral tonsillitis primarily involves rest, recovery, and symptom relief. It is also important to drink plenty of fluids and have regular meals, soft foods, and smoothies are best. If bacterial infection is confirmed by throat culture, antibiotics will be prescribed to prevent complications, particularly rheumatic fever and kidney disease. It is important to take the full course of antibiotics as prescribed to prevent the infection returning and to reduce the likelihood of developing rheumatic fever or kidney disease. Gargling salt water, 
half teaspoon of salt to a cup of warm water may provide some symptom relief as may suck in on hard sweets or throat lozons containing ingredients that are cooling, anesthetic, antiseptic, and anti-inflammatory. Corticosteroids such as dexatessone or prednisone may be prescribed to reduce inflammation and swelling, particularly when it is making swallowing and breathing difficult. Modern Optical Service has made it even better by introducing its budgeted spectacle line starting as low as $10,000 for single vision lens and $12,000 for bifocal lens available in tinted or clear complete spectacles at affordable prices. So hurry down to our main office at 316 Middle Street or Lot 14 Diamond Public Road opposite Demerara Bank. Enjoy over 60 years of eye care experience at affordable prices. Modern Optical Service, your eye care professionals. Introducing the new Softex Soft toilet, toilet tissue, tissue, now available across Guyana. Softex is silky smooth because it's made from virgin pulp. Softex is soft and gentle, soft to, and every gentle touch. to every touch. Even babies can use it. Manufactured and distributed by B Pats Paper Manufacturing, Eccles Industrial Site. The, the choice, choice is clear. clear. Two Softex toilet tissue, super soft and super durable, guaranteed. on windows and doors, fully equipped to handle all your commercial projects. Whether you're constructing a small or large commercial building, residential property, or just upgrading your home, they got you covered. Beeson Windows and Doors, providing unmatched quality windows for your home, office, and commercial building. Located at 1228 Eccles Industrial Site. For more information, call 662-4197 or 622-6943. Did you know almost one-third of deaths in Guyana are heart-related? Chronic inflammation is the root cause of atherosclerosis, the process that leads to cholesterol-clogged arteries. You can now lower high triglyceride levels with Omega XL and reduce the dangerous inflammation that causes these problems. So to ensure a healthy heart and reduce your risk of disease, get your Omega XL today. Live long, stay strong with Omega XL. Everything is connected, our planet, our water sources, including the water we drink. Sometimes harmful bacteria end up in our streams and canals. Although treated, the risks are high. You can prevent this pollution and contamination by maintaining your septic tank and grease traps. Call the experts at Puran Brothers Disposal Incorporated on 264-1239 or 603-5050. Keeping it clean is what we do best. Welcome to Industrial Supply of Guyana, Inc., Guyana's sole distributor of NP and ultra lubricants, SKF bearings, seal and belts, international trucks and parts, and NAPA batteries. With a bond capacity of 30,000 square foot, we offer superior brands at affordable prices and the best after-sale service. ISG supplies sustainable, integrated solutions to make your business a growing success. Visit us at our new main office at Lot 4Q Peters Hall, ISG the best opportunity to make the right choice. Welcome to the MTV Sport Update. Australia's batsmen struggled once again before bad light halted playing the third day of the final test against India in Sydney. The host, resuming on 24-0, played patiently in the morning session, with opener Marcus Harris making 7-9. However, Harris was dismissed two balls after lunch before all-rounder Marnus Lebutinev felt a stunning catch by Jinkia Rahani at mid-wicket. Bad light ended play early with Australia 236 for 6, trailing by 386 runs. India, who lead the series 2-1, are searching for their first test series victory in Australia since they began touring in 1947 to 1948. 
Australia reached 122 for one at lunch after Usman Kawaja was dismissed by wrist spinner Kuldeep Yadav, but the rest of the top order could not build on the start. Veteran Sean Marsh edged the left arm spinner Rabindra Jahaja to slip for just eight before Travis Head was caught and bowled by Yadav. Captain Tim Payne and fell quickly after T bowled by Yada for five. But Peter Hanscombe and bowler Pat Cummins offered some resistance before the light intervened. With the Aussies still needing 187 more to avoid the follow on. Shane Shillingford has been suspended after it was found that his bowling action is illegal. He is to undergo another evaluation. Here is more. Windward Island's Volcanoes of spinner Shane Chillingford has been flagged and is suspended from bowling in regional matches. The experience the spin wizard arm action exceeded the 15 degrees level of tolerance permitted under playing regulations. It was suspected and reported to be illegal after Shillingford bowled against the Guyana Jaguars in the first round at the Darren Sami Cricket Ground in St. Lucia. In that game, the Volcanoes lost by 125 runs. Shillingford, as is mandatory, will have to undergo remedial work to remedy his bowling action. Once cleared, the spinner will return to the tournament. Reporting for MTV's Sport Update, Quatfrey Brooms. South Africa need only 4-1 to one runs to win the series against Pakistan after dominating day three of the second test in Cape Town. Pakistan slipped from 194 for 3 to 294 all out in their second innings. Dale Stein took 4 for 8 to 5 to move level with Sir Richard Hadley on 431 test wickets, 10th on the all time list, and Kashika Rabada 4 for 6 to 1. South Africa, who lead 10 0 in the three match series, earlier converted their overnight 382 for 6 to 431. Asad Shafiq made 88 and Barbar Azam helped Pakistan avoid an innings defeat with 72 before he was ninth out. South Africa thought they had bowled Pakistan out for 278 when Mohamed Abbas skied to mid-off, but replays showed Vernon Philander had bowled a no ball. Wicketkeeper Quinton de Kock, who had run off the pitch to prepare to open the batting for, for South Africa, had to return. The third test in Johannesburg begins on Friday, before the teams play five one-day internationals in 2020 from 19 January to 6 of February. Argentina legend Diego Maradona has been released from hospital after being admitted with internal bleeding in his stomach, his daughter said. The 58-year-old was having a routine medical in his home country when doctors discovered the problem. However, his family said the diagnosis was not serious. Rodders News Agency later reported Maradona had left the hospital. Maradona, who captained Argentina to World Cup victory in 1986, is coach of Mexican second division side Dorados de la Sinaloa. He was taken ill during Argentina's victory over Nigeria at last year's World Cup in Russia, but later said he was fine. Stay with us, more news after the break. Welcome to Industrial Supply of Guyana, Inc. Guyana's sole distributor of NP and ultra lubricants, SKF bearings, seal and belts, international trucks and parts, and Napa batteries. With a bond capacity of 30,000 square foot, we offer superior brands at affordable prices and the best after sale service. ISG supplies sustainable integrated solutions to make your business a growing success. Visit us at our new main office at lot 4Q Peters Hall, ISG the best opportunity to make the right choice. And that's a wrap on today's broadcast. Before we go, here's a reminder of our top stories. PPP warns the judiciary not to make a mockery of Guyana's democracy. AFC claims coalition is stronger despite Patterson said they are more moles in the government. Student nurse douses woman with hot water over boyfriend row. And in sport, Shane Schillingford suspended for illegal ball in action. On behalf of our news and technical teams, I am LaShawna Gomes Cornelius. Good night. <laughs>